Monday's was not an ideal start to Neil Argett's inquest. The investigating officer revealing a litany of problems that may seriously hamper the five-week process. Limited cooperation from state departments, deceased or untraceable witnesses, destroyed or missing records. The Police of Department of Justice, dated the 13th of June 1986, provides for the destruction of an inquest record after a period of 10 years. So the inquest record was destroyed? That's correct, man. For 20 days, apartheid police kept Biko in a detention cell, alone, naked, and shackled. After beating him badly, he sustained bodily injuries and a brain hemorrhage. But police still drove him naked for over a thousand kilometers in the back of a van from Port Elizabeth to Pretoria, where he would eventually die. I've been uh, part of a conversation with a number of other families. <laughs> we believe that there are, at, at the moment, according to our research, about 120 families who could be affected similarly. And the idea is to compel our government to find the political will to move these matters forward. A victim's family support group, including the Timors, the Agates and the Bigos has already petitioned President Cyril Ramaphosa asking the government to assist with the reopening of a number of cases. Vuyam Voko, Johannesburg.